Can this Lego parachute actually save a falling minifig? Well, if we quickly go upstairs and open the window, and in three, two, one, yo, no way, he actually safely descended all the way down. Let's see how many minifigs we can add on though. This is three minifigs. Yeah, this is still light work. And this is seven minifigs. Definitely getting a bit too heavy now, but they got lucky and landed on the edge of this plant. So no one actually hit the ground. Imagine seeing seven people attached to one parachute in real life though. But yeah, in this video, we're gonna be raising our adrenaline levels by doing a bunch of different extreme activities and sports in Lego. Because right now, our minifig just spends all day sitting in the same spot doing literally nothing. So he really needs some action in his life. And the first place to try is this Lego skate park. And after quickly putting it all together, we end up with a bunch of these ramps where we can do some cool stunts. Just remember to wear your helmet, kids. But we can jump off this small ramp and then land into a wheelie and finish off with a small wall ride. Or we can take a longer run up to gain more speed and jump across the entire skate park. We can also slap the skates on and use them to grind on some of the railings scattered around the park. Or do a 360. People on skates also like to do a lot of spinning around. So we can do that as well. Go faster! The half pipe on the top also has a basketball hoop installed on the side of it. So we can drop in on the skateboard and then dunk on the other side at the same time. Or do a backflip dunk or a grind and dunk. We can also use the board to do some downhill skateboarding. Ouch, that must have hurt. And there's also a scooter which we can use to do some insane backflips. Just be careful not to hit your shins with it. There's also this boombox on which we can load up some pop and tunes. Yo, this skate park is lit now. And after we get too sweaty from skating, we can chill in this little section and crack open a cold one with the boys. Okay, so I'd say that got my heart racing a little bit more, but we need to find even more extreme sports to do. One of them could be zorbing, which is basically climbing into a massive inflatable bowl and then rolling down a hill at fast speeds. And to do the same in Lego, I bought this Sonic set, and once I quickly cooked it up, I can slam my hand into this, which will send Sonic flying through the set inside of a big bowl. So all I need to do is take this, put the minifig inside, and now we can do zorbing in Lego. So first, let's see how far it will go. That's pretty good. Now we should make a massive ramp using a base plate and see how high we can launch this thing. Sheesh, that thing flew. Okay, now it's time to see what happens if we just zorb down the stairs in my house. I can only imagine how dizzy the minifig must feel. But we're not gonna stop here as we have a lot more extreme sports to try today. Like going to the local beach to grab a surfboard and try to hit some waves. But it is very hot today. So before we go into the sea, we can quickly chomp down on this tasty ice cream from this sweaty man in an ice cream costume. Woo! Let's go. We can also call the popo and use their jet ski to go even faster and absolutely shred the ocean. Five minutes later. All right, this is pretty cool. But there isn't really any big waves today, so this is kind of getting boring now. Well, good thing we have a diving suit with us that we can slap on and go explore the deep ocean. Oh, look. There's some cute animals floating around like this crab or this little sea turtle. And the deeper we go, the higher the pressure gets and the less oxygen we have left, making this quite an extreme activity. But wait, what the heck? That's a giant octopus who's literally heading our direction. Yeah, scuff this. I'm swimming back up to the top. But wait, where is the beach gone? There's only this tiny single island literally in the middle of the ocean. Well, I guess this is just another opportunity to do an extreme challenge and see how long we can survive on this island for. Okay, so it's been like a month or two and the minifig definitely looks a bit different now. We also made a new little crab friend, but I think it's time to get off the island as it hasn't rained for the past week and we've run out of all the water we had. But all of the sea around the island is heavily infested by sharks, which is actually the perfect opportunity to pull another extreme stunt and go swimming with the sharks. Oh boy, they do seem very hungry though. We better get out. And now we can punch this palm tree until we gather some sticks with which we can make a fire to try and signal for help. Ooga booga, I invent fire. Oh wow, it actually worked though and this passing by rescue helicopter actually spotted us. Bruh, the giant octopus came back so let's finally get off this island. And while we're in the air, there's actually some extreme helicopter stunts we can also do. Like a 360 or flying upside down, which helicopters can actually do by the way. We can also hang on the side of it and really get our adrenaline going. But we are running out of fuel, so it is time to land. And the best way to do that is to pull the biggest aerial maneuver yet and land the helicopter on an actual moving truck. Nice, that was actually fairly easy. Now we just need to drive back home for six hours straight. Six hours later. And we're back, baby. Wait one second, guys. That's a bit better, isn't it? But being on the ground is a bit boring, so we can also build this Lego Technic plane. Yo, they actually made the propeller spin whenever you push the plane. That's pretty cool. Can it actually fly though? No, but this plane only belongs on the ground. So an even easier way to get into the air is to just shoot yourself out of a cannon. We just need to take this helmet away from the skeleton, force the minifig inside of it. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something! And by flicking the back of it, it will shoot him out into the skies. This cannon is a bit whack. Another activity that can be considered extreme is drag racing. So I caught this $30 set that lets you build some race cars and an actual racetrack to race them on. Okay, so the middle rails kind of ruin it. Let's take them out and try again. All right, so I think this track only works with one car at a time, but the book also came with a race competition chart where you can write down custom names to see who will win. But the cars are actually slower than your local elderly driver on a Sunday morning. So we can use these wind up stunt bikes instead and add a ramp at the end to see how far they can jump. Or just do a wheelie competition. We can also see if they can get out of the bathtub on their own. 
But to be honest, I feel like our minifig deserves a little break from all the risky activities he's been doing. So instead, we can just let him chill in the countryside with a horse and a cute dog and let him enjoy the peace. Oh yeah, I forgot I actually ordered a horse jumping kit from the local farmer. Oh, well, sorry, mate. I guess the break time is over. So slap the saddle on your horse, put your helmet on, get on it and start jumping. And luckily, the jumping poles easily fall off. So if you ever run into them, they won't actually break your horse. Or if you don't want to jump at all, you can just take the horse to some grass and just race it around and then give him a carrot for being a good boy. Another more chill activity is archery. So I got this little Lego fence set, which has this target and an apple, which you can shoot and practice your aim using the included crossbow stud shooter. Also, it's got this cute hedgehog. But after all that shooting, we can get comfy in this chair and do an extreme eating sport, which is basically trying to eat food as fast as possible. Okay, that was kind of boring, not gonna lie. So next, we need to do something to really get the blood pumping. For example, I bought this $30 Lego set, which came with two of these mountain bikes and a little off-road rock section we can use to practice our biking skills. But we do need a bigger challenge. So let's load up the bikes onto this four-wheel drive off-roader, which was also included in the set. And it's got these massive squishy tires and suspension that is powered by two rubber bands, which allows the entire car to have a lot of range of motion when bouncing up and down. So so let's do a quick suspension test before we set off. All right, let's head into the wilderness. So I drove for around 30 minutes through some litty UK roads and saw some wallabies literally just chilling around. And after some more walking, this is the perfect location to test it. So the really cool thing about this car is that each wheel has its own independent suspension, which basically means it can stay super stable when there's obstacles in the way. Once we find a good spot, we can park up and load the bikes and explore the trails until we find a good spot to start camping. Oh, no! <gasps> yep, I almost lost the bike with the minifig in this mini cave. But the set also came in this tent that has actual sleeping bags inside and a fireplace outside on which we can cook up some fresh snacks. Now we can truly relax for the night and take some pictures of rabbits enjoying the grass. Wait, is that a deadly scorpion? Well, that's our food sorted for now. Sweet dreams, mate. And while he's sleeping, I also bought this $50 Jeep Wrangler set. And we're gonna use this terrain to also really test its off-roading capabilities. The Jeep actually lets you control the steering using this little gear at the back of it, which means you can actually control the direction and push at the same time. I kinda wish I had this when I was a kid, not gonna lie. It's also got suspension, which can handle most of the terrain. But we should see what happens if you crash this thing. Okay, so one of the wheels came off and now we're stuck. But luckily, this Jeep has a winch with a hook on the front that we can attach somewhere and then use that to pull the car out. Once we're clear of any rocks, we can use the spare wheel on the back as a replacement and it's good as new oh yeah by the way if we get this channel to 100,000 subscribers i'm going to try to build a life-size lego minifig we're like halfway there already and honestly i still have no idea how i'm actually going to build it so if you want to see me suffer press subscribe i guess anyways another thing that can get extreme sometimes is weather so we can simulate some heavy rain with my shower or extreme winds with my shop vac Yikes, that was actually quite terrifying. Or an unexpected heat wave using my heat gun. Oh my gosh, it literally melted his entire body. Yeah, don't try this at home, please. If you're feeling extra risky, you can also rob the local bank and then try to escape on a quad bike and hope that nobody sees you. But unfortunately, the police actually patrol this area with jets and it seems like they have spotted our little minifig. They even got this hook on the back that comes down and it can be used to catch those dirty criminals. I don't know about you, but catching quad bikes with a jet plane sounds really extreme to me. Hey, at least the robber can enjoy the nice views from up here. Next up, we've got a quick fire round of some more extreme sports. Like playing hockey can get a little hectic sometimes. And if a puck is hit at the wrong angle, it could fly into someone's face. Along with that, normal ice skating stunts can also get a bit extreme. Like you could spin so much where you get super dizzy and fall off the edge of the table. There's also skiing where we can test how fast we can go down this massive hill. Now this one is a bit unique, but you can take a trip to the local woods, take out your camera, and you can try to catch the big foot on tape. Just be careful though, because you can get kind of aggressive sometimes. But just slap some handcuffs on him. We got you now, mate. We finally got you. Another hobby that quite a lot of people like to enjoy in real life is FPV drone flying. We can do the same in Lego with this drone boy minifig. Just take off and start pulling some absolutely lit and never seen before stunts. Hey yo look there's someone in the water on an airboat. Bruh they're literally sinking right now. We'll just pretend like we didn't see that. If you've ever been to a playground as a kid then you might have used one of these spinning carousels. Well we can do the same in Lego but spin it really fast and we can keep going until the minifig nearly flies off and is holding on for his life. Yo guys I bet he's super dizzy now. Now if you watch movies then you probably know that extreme stunt actors exist and sometimes they literally set themselves on fire. We can do the same by putting some of this special juice on a minifig and lighting it. Bro, is literally flaming hot. Oh no, he's actually on fire. Quick, get the fire department. Yo, he literally melted stuck to the quad bike. Guys, his face literally melted onto the cardboard. But anyways, I actually like to do some rock climbing whenever I have free time. And I love introducing new people to the sport. So I quickly built up this very simple climbing wall for our little friend. Sheesh, now we can both practice climbing at the same time. Another activity related to heights is also bungee jumping. So we can tie this random string to our minifig and just push him off the edge. I low-key think his back might be a bit broke now. There's also walking across a tightrope that's secured really high off the ground. 
or at least trying to. Well, rest in pieces, bro. Oh, there's extreme cliff diving where you just yeet yourself off the edge and hopefully land in some water. Bro, I forgot our minifig can't swim. Quick, let's give him some life jackets so he can stay alive. Now it's time to pay respect to some classic sports such as baseball. I don't have any baseball Lego pieces, but I did buy this real baseball bat and I'm gonna use it to hit this knockoff Lego sun from my previous space video. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I don't think the Sun survived the baseball bat. I also bought this LEGO football practice set from 2002, which you can use to kick some balls and try to hit these targets in the goal. Ooh. We can also do some other football stunts, like trying to kick the ball into this LEGO cup, or just see how far we can actually kick it. Nice, this football set is actually pretty lit. We accidentally hit this woman on the beach. That's definitely a red card. Good thing that we have this referee around. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you ever did any of these extreme sports in real life.